What's going on, everybody? It's Joe Jensen with Trend Trading Academy. I'm here to help you trade and get paid. We got another episode of Make Moves Monday, motivation, mindset, and trading psychology. And in today, it's the last episode of this awesome, amazing series. And in this one, as we close it out, it's gonna be super special because we talked about mindset, we talked about what is trading psychology, we talked about all kinds of really powerful, powerful stuff. But in this one, we're gonna tie it all together in an amazing closing video for this series. In this one, we're talking about how we can use our trading psychology, our mindset, to do less. Some of y'all wanna spend 24 hours a day on the charts and you end up getting less than somebody who spends less time. So I'm gonna show you not just time, effort, everything. I'm gonna show you how to use less to get more. So we're gonna hear Robert's take. We're gonna talk about a lot of different things, but the overall gist, the overall understanding of this video is how you can do less and get more. Does that sound good to you? If it does, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure that you go and share these videos. Tell somebody about it because these mindset videos are the key to long-term success. If you want to become a student, go to trendtrading.academy. If you're ready to get that merch, the hats, the shirts, the journal, go ahead and get a beanie, whatever it is. Go ahead and go to tradinggetpaid.com. Trade in style, trade with flair, and trade with precision. We're about to perfect the trade. For now, let's get to the video. to me in trading it came to me as a pastor as a christian um and what what it was was um i know who i am as a leader and you know as a pastor you know you become kind of um you know where you want to be mr fix it right you want to fix everything you want to be there for everybody and everybody and you know what i what i learned was i am a visionary risk taker um you know you can bring me to the worst of situations and i can see the way out you know i like i can generally see the big picture that's that's who i am as a person that's the way god created me to be global thinker um, a glo- exactly a, a global thinker and um you know uh one thing i am not is a great administrator um when it comes to detailed tasks and little things I get so overwhelmed with little detailed tasks that, uh, you know, it takes me out of my flow and I I just, just, I'm not good at it. Um, And what I did for a long time was, like most people, I tried to get better in the areas that I was weak. And, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that's a noble effort. But the truth is, is many times it's a losing effort. Um, What I learned was... Not that I couldn't get any better, not that we shouldn't try to get better, but that I have a strength Mm -hmm. in being a visionary and being willing to jump out and go after something in taking charge and making something happen, making something out of nothing. I have a gift. And what I did was I started focusing on that. Mm -hmm. And instead of me focusing on trying to get better in my areas of weakness, Mm-hmm. I started get I started focusing on expanding my areas of strength. Mm-hmm. And in my areas of weakness, rather than letting them be weaknesses, I surrounded myself with people who had strengths awesome. in the areas of my weakness. Awesome. And now, because of that, our ministry has been able to flourish and we've been able to see amazing things because everybody's operating in the areas of their strength and their God-given abilities. That's awesome. Well, it's the same way with our trading. Mm -hmm. I don't, don't try to fix what you're not. Right. Right. Try to be who you are. Mm -hmm. Robert said it, you know, like if you are a scalper and you are, uh, you know, 
um, uh, gonna gonna trade short term, fifteen minute charts, whatever it is, and, and get those in and out positions, then we don't need to. Why are you even thinking about the weekly chart? Right. Right. Why are you even thinking about swing trading? Right. Now, I'm not saying that we shouldn't explore and right. learn, but have the discipline to stick to what you are. Now, I notice I didn't say stick to what you're good at. I said stick to what you are. Right. That's great. Right. It's not what you're good at because we're not basing things on um, a pass or fail scale. Mm-hmm. We're basing things on is this becoming a lifestyle for you or is this just another job that you picked up along the way? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's i think where the real question comes in folks is are you picking up forex because it's you know i need some extra income you know okay cool it's there there's extra income there mm-hmm. or is this really becoming you know this is who i am you know i'm ready to come in and be an investor i'm going to become a trader like i'm not oh i i, I do this on the side to kind of make a couple extra bucks or am i a trader you know, like I'm a Forex trader. Um, so I, I think that's really focus on what you are. Mm-hmm. Focus on who you are. That's who did great. God create you to be? That's great. Be that and be the best at it. Yep. And where you're weak, surround yourself with others who can do what you can't do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. And and so it's an amazing thing. Um, Robert. May I, may I expound on that, Joe? Sure. Uh, it makes me think, and again, I take everything to sports, right? <laughs> <laughs> always, it, always. <laughs> it, it, it makes me think of, uh, of uh, like Reggie Jackson, okay? Reggie Jackson was a power hitter, right? He could hit the ball a mile. And uh, well, when, you go, when you're going for home runs, right? Uh, guess what? You're going to strike out a lot because you're trying, to, you're trying to max your swing as hard as possible to the ball that is your pitch, right? So you're letting a lot of, a lot of other pitches go, right? A lot of good pitches, you're letting them go because you're looking for your pitch and going back to knowing who you are, right? And so I think Reggie has records still for strikeouts in a season, you know? <laughs> but he hit 500 and some home runs. He's a Hall of Famer, okay? Right. A different example would be Roberto Clemente, who was in a huge, massive field, right? I mean, I can't remember the name of the stadium. Was it Ebbets Field? I'm, I'm, I'm not quite sure. Um, but the, the stadium was huge. So now, now going back to your circumstances, right? You have to acknowledge your gifting under your circumstances. You, I mean, that's just the reality, right? I mean, there, we have traders from all over the world and they have all different circumstances and, and they have to adjust themselves to those circumstances. Well, Roberto Clemente was a powerful hitter. If he wanted to hit a home run, he could hit a home run. But he was in a massive field that didn't give itself, didn't lend itself to home runs. And so he became a doubles and hit a lot of home runs. I think he hit 200 and some home runs, which is not a lot for a superstar and as strong as he was. But again, he recognized this is not, my environment this is not conducive for me to go after home runs. Let me focus on what I'm good at and what I can do. So back to what you were saying, you will become a Hall of Fame trader sure. when you focus on the thing that you're great at. Right. And let go of everything else. That's what Joe was getting at, you know, that that you you will become great when you perfect the gifting that you have. Right. Everything else, everybody else can handle. Now, again, like Joe said, you, you can learn a lot of things. I know about swing trading. I know about day trading. I can see the setups. I can set up the setups. But when it comes to my trading, knowing what I'm great at, I got to focus on my narrow window wait for my narrow window. And when it's there, take it, you know, well, think, um, about the, think about the power of pressure, right? That I, I've used this illustration many, many times, but the power of pressure applies here, Robert. Like, so think, about a, think about a pressure washer, for an example. Um, anybody who's ever used a pressure washer knows it has different tips that you put on the end of the, uh, the hose. Mm-hmm. And if you put on what they call a wide tip or like maybe 70, 70 degrees or something like that, um, it, it spreads the water out wide and, you know, you can wash a car with it, you know, or you can, you know, spray some, you know, uh, dirt off of the house or, you know, things like that. But if you put what's called the zero tip on, which means that there's no angle, it just all of the pressure comes through one hole and it's just a straight line. That's the most powerful tip you can have. I mean, you can peel paint off of the same car that one tip allowed you to wash the right. other 
the other tip will allow you to damage. Right. And you know, it's, and what it, what was it? It was instead of having uh, this, and nobody turned the faucet up anymore. Right. Same amount nobody of water. Added more water is the same right. amount of water. Right. It's just that now that focus is there instead of it being spread out 70 degrees, it's narrowed into one spot. And all of the pressure comes to one thing. All of the focus comes to one thing. And now I could knock mortar out of the brick. I could peel paint off of the cars. You know, uh, uh, it, it's really, it's that focus. It's mm -hmm. like a shotgun or a rifle. That's exactly what I was thinking. Shotgun and just pellets all over or a sniper mm -hmm. rifle right to one spot with precision. Mm -hmm. That both can get the job done. Mm -hmm in their own respective manner right but if you want that power of focus and that power of pressure what's going to happen is you need to focus in on that one thing right instead of spreading it out and i say that to say this and again I, i'm not knocking anybody but i get these comments on a on a daily basis how many strategies do you use right uh can you teach me this strategy and that strategy? Can you put seven indicators on your chart? Should I get the upgraded version so I can put 10 indicators? Right. Uh, you're doing too much. Right. Find what works for you. And if it's working and you're making money, now keep making money. Right. Why are we looking to learn 50 new strategies if the one you have works? Right. Why are we looking to try to become a swing trader if scalping obviously makes sense for you? right? Like be who you are, focus in and be the best at it. So Robert mentioned a couple of weeks ago, I think it was two weeks ago or last week, I can't remember, but he talked about how a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. And that what a great voice of wisdom that came from God there. Um, it, it's, you know, what it's really saying is that, you know, if you have your mindset in so many different areas, you're not going to be great at any of them. In fact, not only are you not going to be great, but you're going to be unstable in all of them they're all going to be become shaky. Why is it is because you don't have focus, you know? And so what I'm trying to help you understand today, what Robert is trying to help you understand today is that if you can focus in at becoming the best that you are at whatever it is you do, if you're a scalper, be a scalper and be a great scalper. If you're a swing trader, be a swing trader and be a great swing trader. Identifying who you are, prior to entering action is going to help you with the action itself. Mm -hmm. Don't wait until you're in the heat of the moment to make a decision. Do, mm -hmm. Should I scalp or should I swing trade? Mm -hmm. if, that, if, if you're in the moment while you're about to press the button in a trade and you're trying to determine if you're going to be in this trade long-term or short-term, you've already missed the mark. You need to have some predetermined rules that say this means this, and this is what I'm going to do. And if you don't have that stuff predetermined, if you leave it up to the moment, the moment will beat you every single time. Every time. You won't beat Father Time. And I don't mean longevity. I mean the moment. Mm -hmm. The moment will get too big for everyone. Mm -hmm. You have to have some predetermined rules. You say, look at a sports guy. Oh, is he going to hit that clutch shot? Do you think that the pressure of that moment is really what is going to determine if he hits that shot or not? Right. Not even a little bit. Them guys ain't even thinking about that. Right. Ice in the veins and all. They're not even thinking about that. Mm -hmm. You know what they're thinking about? I have shot this shot a hundred times a day for my entire career. <laughs> mm -hmm. this right. is just another shot that i need to hit <laughs> yep if they rely on that that predetermined stuff more than likely their form will take them through that's right but if they rely on that moment they start thinking about the oh the, fa the fans the epic moment one second left on the clock they're gonna miss right because they didn't let the predetermined factors have their way they allowed themselves to get caught up in the moment and didn't allow themselves to be who they have trained to be yeah that's great that's great joe something you make me think of something i have a 
a very good friend who was the mental skills coach for several major league baseball teams. And he had something that stuck with me forever, which was um, the, the secret to uh, elite performance is knowing when not to think, mm. you know, it's like you do all your thinking in your preparation. You, wow. you know, you go into your chart, you prepare it, you think, you analyze, you analyze, you analyze, you analyze, you analyze, blah, 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 blah. You know what you're looking for and you're waiting for your edge. When your edge is present, there's no more thinking. You're going in, you know, and that, and that is the execution of, of an elite athlete, of right. someone who's been prepared, someone who has gotten themselves ready. So obviously, and, and you mentioned rules, you know, you should think, I know there's somebody listening right now watching that's that is experiencing this. You have rules, but you don't follow them. Right. You have rules and you violate them all the time. Right. right. What is in you that is causing you to do that? Sure. If you know that this is the framework under which you can make money, but you're not following the framework again, go back to your psychology. What is it in me that is causing me not to do that? And perhaps what you'll find to keep in to keep with the thing that we're talking today perhaps what you find is that what you have set up is completely contrary to how your psychology works you know may, maybe you again you're trying to be a day trader when you're really a scalper maybe you're trying to be a scalper when you're really a day trader you know you got to find those things for yourself and again in the academy man we go through all these details we go through this in detail i mean we break this down quite a lot we have four classes every week and again we go into in depth into pretty much anything and we allow access to the students to talk to us directly so i mean i don't know what else to say about that i mean i think we have the best value in the industry joe i really think so i mean i'm not no, they right. gotta they gotta come join tta <laughs> hey we went we went live the other day and we had all kind of people in there talking about how wonderful tta was students you know it's guys you need to join tta have a great community yeah um, all right. Well, hey, look, that's fire, man. Robert, uh, man, I appreciate you so much, man. I, I appreciate you being on these last few weeks with me. Um, you know, I know that the YouTube family appreciates you. Um, and of course, the TTA family. Um, leave us with uh, one final nugget, man. Just leave one one last nugget. What would uh, what do, what do you want to leave us with before we before we end this little series? I guess the main thing that comes to me now as I consider closing it is that you are the edge. Okay, we're just talking about edge. You are the edge. You're honing the skills so that no matter what's going on in the market, you can take advantage of it. And so when it comes to trading psychology, the main thing that you are going to be focused on is on self-awareness. The more self-aware you are of how you are, of what makes you, uh, what makes you um, work, what makes you excited, what makes you focus, you know, if you have the goal in front of you that you want, the thing that you desire, the reason why you got involved, okay? For Joe has very specific reasons why he trades. I have very specific reasons why you trade, why I trade, and I keep those in front of me all the time, right. right? The good, the bad, everything that's going on, that why makes me feel like, and it, and it, and it, okay, it creates a discipline in me to follow my rules, right? And those rules are always being honed. Those, those rules are always being shaped and tweaked and whatever, because the more you know about yourself, the, the narrower, the narrower your focus becomes to, like Joe says, so you can become that sniper rifle, right? So you can be very precise on what you're looking for. And so going back, when you take the time to develop yourself as an individual, again, I strongly recommend any books out there on personal, on, on peak performance. There's plenty of stuff out there. I'm not going to recommend any right now. We have a here live, but we have a vast library in yeah. the Academy. And I often update the Academy with what I found, anything new that I find that I think is, is awesome. I put it up there so they can take advantage of it. Uh, it. The more you develop yourself as an individual and the more you focus on things that you are gifted at, the more you become the edge. And then it's not really about the strategy. It's not really about the time frame. It's not really about news or not news or anything else. It's you. Right. You having discipline over yourself to know when your opportunity is there and taking advantage of it. So again, to leave you, I would encourage you, develop yourself as the edge. Sure. And no matter what's happening in the market, you'll be able to benefit from it. All right, guys, there you have it. I hope this video, I hope this series brought you a lot of value. 
In fact, I know it did. Robert's the mindset beast. And you know what's crazy about it? Is you get to get big portions of that. You get to get hours and hours of that kind of stuff when you join TTA. You get to be able to uh, have full access to people like me and Jay and Robert, Tom, uh, and other you know educators, mentors that are uh, seeing major success in the market because we have a bigger picture. We're not just focusing on one little thing, one little thing here, one little there. We're looking at the big picture. We understand trading psychology, strategy, risk management, money management. There's so much value. So don't, man, don't wait. What are you waiting for? Become a student today. Go to trendtrading.academy. Become a student. I promise you it is the best decision that you will ever make concerning your Forex trading. So if this series did bring you value, what I want you to do is like, comment, and subscribe. I want you to share this. Tell somebody about it. Go back and watch this stuff. I would encourage you to watch these videos again and again because the content was so deep and so value and so rich. It will enrich, it will empower, it will bring uh, more success to your trading journey. If you want more value, I want you to watch this video right here because it's gonna bring major understanding to you concerning Forex trading and it's gonna take you to the next level. For now, I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.